Hello and welcome to this video, Gareth here from tastetutes.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a quick way you can convert CMYK and RGB color swatches into Pantone swatches in Adobe Illustrator. So I have this poster design here in Illustrator and I have a couple of colored boxes up to the right in the pasteboard area. Now these are representing the colors that make up the artwork in the poster to the left. If you wish to download this document and have a go yourself or follow along, you can download this for free. The link is in the description. So I have focused on getting all the creative positioning right. I have just finished the poster and now I realize that I completely overlooked the color swatches I used, a mistake I make quite a lot when focusing on the creative side of things. Now I need to print this poster in Pantone but currently all the colors are in CMYK. Now it's actually really easy to convert your CMYK or RGB artwork into Pantone artwork. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to come over to the squares here, click and drag to select them all, copy and paste to make a new copy. So in Illustrator, to convert a color, all you have to do is select the color you want to change. In this instance, I'm going to come and select the colors on the right here. Now, as I click through these, we can see in the swatches panel, the matching color swatches are becoming highlighted. So I'll select the top color box. Now, if I put my mouse cursor over the selected swatch in the swatches panel, we can see it's currently a CMYK color, as we can see the CMYK color values appearing on mouse over. So with this color selected, I can come up to edit, scroll down to edit colors, come across and click recolor artwork. Upon click, up will pop a menu, and here we can see the color we currently have selected. Next, I need to click on this small button here, down towards the middle of the menu. Upon click, this will pull up a list, and from here I'm going to place my mouse over color books. Now you can choose whichever color format you wish to convert this sample to, but in this instance, I'm going to scroll down and choose Pantone Solid Coated, then click OK. Upon click, Illustrator has now converted the selected color into the nearest Pantone reference. And if we look over in the swatches panel, we will now see the new color swatch appear and become selected. If I move my mouse cursor over the new swatch, we will see the Pantone reference. Also, we can see this little dot in the bottom right corner indicating this is a Pantone spot color. Now, keep in mind, when Illustrator converts a CMYK or RGB color, it will convert it to the nearest reference. In this instance, it looks very close, but can sometimes vary a little. So I'll use the same technique on the rest of the color boxes, and soon I will have my new Pantone colors in the swatches panel. Easy. So zooming into the colored boxes, on the left we have the original CMYK samples and now on the right we have the new Pantone samples and they are looking pretty close. So Illustrator has done a good job of converting those colors for us. Now it's just a case of selecting all the color elements in my poster design and making sure the Pantone colors are applied. Once all the colors are Pantone, it will be ready to be printed in Pantone. Easy! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. If you have any design questions or topics you would like to see me talk about, feel free to pop them in the description or drop me a line on Twitter. You can find me at Tastytutes. Well, that's it for another video brought to you by Tastytutes.com. Thanks for watching, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.